Now to the latest from the Gulf on this 100-day anniversary of the disaster. It's now been about two weeks since a temporary cap was put on the well, and since then, not much oil has hit the surface. So the big question, where did the millions of gallons of crude go? CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman is in New Orleans with the latest on that. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Harry. It is a good question on this milestone day, day 100 of this spill. And while the surface spill may be significantly smaller, BP's troubles may be deepening. New reports of a federal investigation, including whether regulators were lied to. It's day 100. The well is capped, but approximately 184 million gallons have spilled into the Gulf. About 34 million have been recovered, and scientists worry the rest is trapped beneath the surface, broken apart by more than 700,000 gallons of dispersants. BP will set aside $32 billion for the cleanup, and to pay for it, sell off $30 billion in assets. They're planning to sell a lot of assets, which will represent uh, perhaps 8% of their exploration and production assets in the United States. It's reported now that the Environmental Protection Agency is expected to seek penalties under the Clean Water Act. The Washington Post says the investigation will examine whether BP officials made false statements to regulators or falsified test results concerning the Deepwater Horizon rig. All this as BP prepares to downsize under new leadership. CEO Tony Hayward is out, replaced by American Bob Dudley. He promises a thorough safety review. We're going to learn a lot about BP and the industry, and I'm sure there will be changes. All along, BP has said that this uh, cleanup would not ta cost taxpayers a single dime. But now the company says it intends to take a tax write-off for the cleanup and save itself $10 billion. Harry? Mark Strassman in New Orleans this morning. Thank you very much.